So this is a closing ceremony of the UNWTO and we're at the Royal Livingston in Zambia. Interestingly enough, today in history, the 20th of August, marks the commemoration of Martin Luther King Jr. and his very famous speech, I Have a Dream, in which he called for an end to racism in the United States. So just as the 25th of August was an important day during our official opening, so is the 20th of August. Exactly 50 years ago, on 28 August 1963, on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C., Dr. Martin Luther King inspired us all with his I Have a Dream speech. <laughs> The future, the fresh future of Zambia was on the stage a few minutes ago. You can read it clearly and you can see the promising path. The 20th session of the General Assembly was held here in Zambia and in Zimbabwe. And it is going to translate to what we believe is going to be good for all of us. How it came about, only nature knows. <laughs> Dreams come about because we the humans sleep and our minds wake on them. But the Victoria Fall was nature's own dream. And nature's own dream is there for us. To get inspired by. Let all come who doubt that the Victoria Fall has that inspirational effect on their mind. And let those who would want to see harm rather than peace, come and they will have their minds repaired at the Victoria <laughs> We have the remedy for them here. It's our Secretary General, Dr. Tali Refine, and all the distinguished delegates from the United Nations World Tourism Organization. It is a priceless pleasure for the people of Zambia and Zimbabwe to have played host to you during this General Assembly. We hope that you will carry with you fresh memories of the African sunrise and sunset, the hospitality of our people, the fascinating flora and fauna, and exciting birds and diverse wildlife in their natural habitat. And add to that the four-year term that you secured on this continent here at Victoria Falls. Congratulations to you. It is also our hope that you and your families will be back to visit our various tourist attractions in the near future.
Don't make this your last, it's only your first. You have become our worthy ambassadors to spread the message that indeed the majestic drum beat sounds loudest and most alluring here in Africa. And where? At the Victoria Fall, which remains one of the world's wondrous monuments to creation. Enjoy it, make it yours. I thank you, Messi Buku, Tatenda Siamong, Azipom, Waluma, Sheshe. Cholesterol and protocol, so I won't continue. <laughs> <laughs> it's true if you look at me. You, uh, you, it's not just an illusion of the light, but I'm actually a white man. But <laughs> I am the Vice President of the Republic of Zambia, and I have been so. I have been so for two years. You may rightly conjecture that there are a few other white Vice Presidents between Cape and Cairo. You would be right. So far as I'm aware, I'm the only one. There's only, in fact, there's only one other case in the world of a black president with a white vice president, and that's the United States of America. <laughs> it signals the passing of time, it signals the maturity of a country. One anniversary which has been forgotten this year, 1963, no, sorry, 2013, the last second of this year will be the precise 50th anniversary of the death of the Federation of the Rhodesians and Nyasa. In fact, that was the last second up until recently that you could walk across that bridge without going through all kinds of checks with your passport and so on and so forth. So in a way it's very poetic. We have come back 50 years later our histories as countries, I mean, uh, Zimbabwe was southern Rhodesia, Zambia was northern Rhodesia, one was a colony, one a protectorate, Malawi was the third member of Nyasaland. We are still together, although our histories have diverged, there have been nasty wars, there have been nasty sanctions battles, there has been a lot of nastiness, but actually things have come back, come to a point, perhaps it's a telling point, perhaps it's a really crucial point at which we can go forward with a much less ethnical, much less racial, much less backward looking view of life. That's anyway our view in the Patriotic Front government of Zambia, which I proudly serve and will continue to serve until I am fired, even that is the top of the time. So I'd like to call upon His Excellency, the President of Zambia, to come and make the final closing speech of the convention. One of the If you ask Dr. Gabriel Mugabe, there is nothing new between Zambia and Zimbabwe because we used to be known as Rhodesia under the Rhodesia Federation of Rhodesia and Yaswan. And uh, we are working as a team to make it easier for the two countries to benefit what we other lacks. As we come to the end of this gathering, I wish to express my profound gratitude to all the delegates for your hard work, commitment, and successful conclusion of the business of the 20th session of the UNWTO General Assembly 2013, hosted by Zambia and Zimbabwe. I would like to appeal that as we promote tourism development, to generate employment and income, let us also guard against the pitfalls of our consumption. Overconsumption. We need to keep in mind 
that we have a sacred duty to protect our physical environment and cultures by promoting sustainable tourism. We owe it to ourselves, our planet, and future generations to promote the balance of nature and cultural biodiversity. Further, I wish to remind the General Assembly that increased interactions among tourists and local communities have the potential and capacity to promote international understanding and consequently global peace. I'm pleased to announce that at this gathering we have in our midst the Paramount Chief Mpezeni, Senior Chief Mukuni, and about two or three, they are Royal Highnesses who have come to see what we are doing. And we are very grateful. And we have to bring their Royal Highnesses in the cross proximity of what we are doing instead of them hearing. Allow me to commend you and your staff for promoting the sustainable tourism, eliminating poverty initiative, which I believe is directly related to the attachment of the United Nations Millennium Development Goal. In this way, it also has a special focus on meeting the survival needs of our people living on less than a dollar a day. I urge you, and upon return to your respective countries, to ensure that follow-up activities are undertaken in a timely manner. As you all return home, we wish you safe travel, and we hope you had a memorable stay with us. Now that you have briefly seen nature in its unique African setting, it is our hope that you will spend a little more days. NWTO is now officially closed. But you can, you can remain in Livingston and officially. <laughs> Thank you.